Hey everybody, I was recording a video for Ebony and uh, in the short time that I was recording that video, I got red Wi-Fi and tried to log in again and said there was a game update. And that's always an interesting thing in Ebony, so let's go check that out. I've not looked at it at all, uh, but I did see when I was scrolling around in items, it looks really messed up, all the text is weird, there's a couple extra... Well, there's Blazon, whatever that is. And so clearly that's going to be something I can also see. There's a promotion of the top Skull Island package. I, I don't know if this is like a King Kong kind of event. What, what's what's going on here? <laughs> Blaze, okay, Blazon chests. So there's something wonky happening here. I guess we'll find out what this is. Hopefully it's a good thing. Let's take a look. And of course with... All these updates, there's going to be some generals. Um, what else? Generals, uh, they're going to preview the next event. Okay, and we're going to see some new features. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's take a look first before before I get in, because I don't know what this is about. I don't know whether these are good things or not, but uh, let's take a look at thumbs up, thumbs down. This one, Skull Island Adventure Preview, kind of almost half-half. That doesn't look too promising. This general looks promising. 1.4k and 266, so people like this general. Um, and this is general two, obviously. Another general that is probably fantastic. This doesn't seem too bad based on the feedback they're getting, same here. This doesn't look good. One third of them, one, one third of the people that have already responded to this don't like it. And this is about half, ooh. So I don't know, I don't know. Let's find out, let's go piece by piece. All right, starting off with Skull Island Adventure Preview. Okay, a package sale with 54,000% value. Holy smokes, that's good. Okay, treasure hunt event, uh, pyramid rune. So it looks like pyramids are back. Uh, good news for some people that love to do that. Although from the last pyramid events, it seemed like it was harder and it was more difficult to complete and get all the stuff. I didn't participate in it at all because, I mean, the one time was enough for me. That was a, a brutal experience. It was possible to get it done, but man, was that time consuming. Um, but if that is for you, it is back and you can get the 14 day decoration. So yeah, it's not a permanent, unfortunately. It should be. I mean, th they should have castle decorations that are permanent that are available to anybody for hard work, but uh, I guess not. All right, King's Party. Yeah, we know that's back. Let's see, cake level stuff. Cake level four, civilization scroll chest. Uh, so conquest. All right, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the new um, civ whatever. That's probably, okay. And then we got the academy officer staff scroll to look at and more, more civilization stuff. Huh. Okay, and then you also get Sula, the General Sula, which we haven't looked at, but uh, from the feedback looks promising. Auction House, I'm going to skip that because that's garbage. Consumption, it is now speed up consumption. So we just had the resource consumption. Now you can speed up your buildings and get some stuff. Historic City event, yeah, as usual. Gather troops in King's Path, that's the same as always. Dwarfs, Lucky Apple event, the same as always, and other events, nothing new, nothing new. All right, uh, let's go, let's gonna, we're going to skip the generals. We're going to go look at new features of version 4.32.0. Let's see if that's any good. General ascending, so here is the list of new generals to ascend. Um, Nothing stands out too much to me here. This guy right here, this is the rally spot one, actually, right? Tokugawa Iyasu. Let me double check. And I want to see him because some of these ones, like Ascension is difficult. It really is. Uh, it's, it's hard to get all the stuff you need. Um, but if you are able to ascend like one star or maybe two stars on some of these smaller ones, you can get some really decent stuff. Uh, let's take a look. Man, development. Am I in the wrong thing? Is it development or is it duty? I think it's duty. What am I doing? Duty. Okay. 
No, this is the one I was thinking of. Okay, so who is that one? Oh, that one's one of the uh, tavern generals, I think. The Toyo, whatever. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe it's not great. Um, but let's take a quick look anyway, because you never know, right? You never know. Some of these generals, they could be potentially something that has wor that, that's worth a single star, uh, just to get some kind of a bonus. Like, I know I saw the very useless general, uh, Abraham Lincoln, and, you know, who, who's going to want to put him as a subordinate city guy? I mean, gold production speed by 75% in a subordinate city? Yeah, come on. Let's see. Enemy ground troop and mounted troop attack minus 15%. That's interesting. I mean, he's still not good. If he didn't have an awful, awful skill, then that would actually be quite interesting because ground troop attack is hard to debuff. So if he wasn't completely useless, that would have been pretty good. Um, I'm not going to go around and check every single one, but you know, you, you get the idea. I mean, take a look at them. Take a look at some of these guys. Um, but nothing stands out to me. I do want to see Rage King, though, because I sometimes put him on my wall um, for lack of a better choice because I don't have a lot of paid generals. So I sometimes put him on my wall as the assistant. Um, he's not great, but he works in a pinch. He gives a attack to all your all your troops, um, so it's not not terrible as a wall assistant. But what do you get for starring him? I'm I'm very curious. Not that stars work as assistant, but I'm curious. Like you'd think that a general that's hard, very hard to obtain, like Rage King, you can't buy him. You got to get lucky. You'd think that he should be strong, right? Like. 10%, I mean, the difficulty to get him, 10% should be higher. <laughs> it should be. But let's see. What are they going to What are they gonna buff him with for ascension? Are they going to make him useful? Siege machine attack, 15%. Hmm. So he's like super siege now. Look at, look at all this. Siege, 15%. Siege defense, 15%. HP, 15%. More defense and HP, more attack. So his ascension is entirely geared towards uh, Siege now. It certainly is a very interesting deviation for Raged King. 10% attack was an all-around kind of attack, and it wasn't great. I mean, in the very, very early days, it wasn't terrible, but with all the generals now, I mean, he certainly needs a buff. But... Uh, the ascension now is just gearing him up entirely to be a siege general. Very strange. Very strange. Hmm. All right. Let's go look at more of the updates. Um, we're going to go into... Did we finish with this one? I think we did. Uh, let's go into the Trial of Knights event preview. Trial of Knights releases right now. Yes. Okay. Purchase the new Knights Duel Sale to get Knights Duel General Chest. I have no idea what that means. It's probably some. Uh, I mean, I haven't. I haven't been <laughs> too much into Ebony these days because uh, of obvious reasons. But Knights Duel General Chest. I mean, that seems like a new thing to me and I'm guessing it's going to be very much like the limited recruit system where they try to snag you into getting some kind of a general um, and it's not too great so you're, you're what purchasing let's let's take a look let's see if we can find it so you're purchasing chests to get a chance to get a general that you could just obtain normally is is that what it is I mean that seems kind of not great at all What's this? Growth fund? Man. So many weird things now. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, this has been around for a while, hasn't it? I don't know. I, I haven't seen this in a long time, but clearly I've claimed it. So are they? did they just move things around? Things are getting weird. Okay, let's try. I don't even know where to find this thing. In here, maybe? Mire hunting. 
Skull Island Adventure. There's some stuff there. Um, so it said it was a package. So I'm guessing if I go to the store area, that's where we're going to find it. Some kind of package. Let's go take a look up here. No membership on sale. Let's take a look there. Tactics roll. No. I really have no idea. I mean, they, they, they say there's some kind of an event. Thank you. Um, valuable event here, maybe. Didn't I already check that? No, I, oh, I didn't check here. This, this is where it should be. Trial of Knights. Here we go. Okay, that, uh, what am I talking about? This has been around for a while. Oh, man. It's just that there's like so much stuff these days, so many little, little things that it all blends together. And I have no idea what's going on in this game anymore. There's just, I mean, I mean, I do, but with the monetization, it's just so scattered. There's like an Astrolube and then there's like another Astrolube with a different name and then another one. And like, I don't know how many variations of the same things you need. So this one is what you, what do we do? Information. You get scores. This is the Blood of Aries one, right? <laughs> That's why, because I haven't really done a whole lot of Blood of Aries because I don't have Blood of Aries. So yeah, you, it's, it's the consumption of Blood of Aries, just like the, uh, the other stuff, right? Just like the tactic scrolls and all that. You consume Blood of Aries, you get ranking, and then you redeem for stuff now let's look at the generals you can get uh nordic barbarian king is not awful constantine the great is all right actually these generals are not bad like these are there are some really good generals here and you can get fragments and stuff yeah that's not bad i mean if you can uh, get enough score for those that those are good those are really good some really good subordinate city generals and stuff really good i might actually uh i might actually go and try to get some blood of Aries done. I haven't done a whole lot because I don't have a whole lot, but uh, we'll see if I can get enough score to get one of those. Oh, all right. <laughs> now we get to the interesting stuff. Let's jump ahead to Skull Island collaboration event package coupons, which is almost, almost half negative. I mean, 420 up, 170 down. That's not good. Oh, okay. That 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 would make sense. That's why, because it's about spending entirely about spending. So you get double down package coupons, and they're telling you to buy stuff. No wonder. Yeah, people are pretty annoyed with the spending. So that makes sense. Now I saved the big one for last. I mean, not counting the generals, because I have no idea what Blazon is, but. It clearly is something big because it's some kind of an acquired item. You can have a capacity up to 500. Um, okay, you can sort it in different ways. I have no idea what it is, but let's take a look at the description. The new Blazon feature will be released right now. You can equip your troops with Blazons. Blazons can provide various buffs to specific troop types. And you can upgrade them by consuming other Blazons to infuse and get one additional, at, oh, it's one of those kind of things. All right, random attribute. So you upgrade it and then you can consume other blazons to increase the power, basically, uh, of one, make one more effective. So it's gonna get, I mean, I, I'm just assuming here it's gonna get expensive. You're gonna have one that you have as like your, your primary that you're gonna equip and then you're going to be trying to upgrade it. And to upgrade it, you have to consume other ones. So it's going to kind of snowball from there because you're going to be, you know, consuming them just to improve one. I can I can totally see that this is going to get uh, is going to get a little crazy. So equip wisely to get better buffs. And during the Skull Island adventure, you can get chess by defeating Meyer Squid. All right, so that's that Meyer squid we saw earlier, and I'll go back and take a look at that. Open the chest to receive a random wind blazon. All right, so we need to do some exploration here. First, let's go look at that Meyer squid thing. Where was that? That was in the, no, that was in the other event thing. That was, ah, get out of there. Here, Meyer hunting. 
The Meyer squid dwelling in the lake region of Skull Island has arrived at the land of Ebony. Kill it to get some chests. What's in the chest? We got some resources, some speeds. That doesn't look very good, but that's just a level one. Level two, slightly higher. Healing, not too great. Level three, it's getting better. And we got a runestone chest, okay. Okay, here's where we're, we're interested. So you got about a million of each resource. It's not bad, 10 refining stones, not bad. Source of life, two. I kind of like the source of life being included in there so that people can stock up for server to server. Runestone chest should be a little high, okay. And the big one, that's, I thought it would be higher than that in terms of resources, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not great, but it's all right. Um, but didn't it say something about a blazon chest? I don't see them in here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sa it said that you get blazon chest by defeating Meyer Squid, but it's not listed in the box so my guess is when you kill a mire squid it's a separate item that drops and it doesn't come from the chest um, probably because this event is uh, like the the mire squid is going to be like a new event boss but the skull island thing is not necessarily going to stick around um, and that's why it's not included in the box itself now am i going to be able to find a mire squid I, I, I'm guessing you don't. I'm guessing you don't see squids in the grass too often, but who knows? Maybe we'll find one. We found a witch. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see nothing. Warlord. Come on, Meyer squid. Not a single Meyer squid. Cerberus. Not even like a level one. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. Maybe it's not on, on here like this. Well. Guess I won't be showing you any Meyer squids. No Meyer squids. All right, <clears throat> let's move on with life. I'm sure that some good Samaritans will explain additional details in the comments, so check it out there. Um, and I'll see if I can, uh, I can get a little more information. Usually there's like a little eye tab, an information tab that will tell you about the Meyer squids and about like how to get stuff, but it doesn't seem like there is in this one just says they've arrived. I don't know where they've arrived. Guess we'll find we'll find out later. Skull Island Adventure, let's take a look at this. During the event time, so you can get resource tax, tax gifts, fine. That's normal, service treasures, knights treasures, gathering. That's useless, this is nothing. Huh, okay. So that tells us absolutely nothing about Blazon. It's basically all up in the air right now. Um, <coughs> don't have a oh okay yeah some Meyer squid chests all oh, right level one so I already I guess I've already killed some just joined some rallies um, let's open it oh yeah oh yeah and I like, I actually really like the design. Like, I think that's the most effort they've put into an icon in a while. A nice squid on top of a treasure chest. Actually looks pretty cool, I like that. I'm not, I don't think the rewards are the best, but they're not bad. They're not bad. Like when you get double drops on like the level four or five, you're getting two million of each and you're getting a bunch of runestone chests and source of life, like it's not terrible. It's decent. Um, well, okay, what's this? Night chest. Oh, yeah. Okay, open that. 
but I want to find Blazon stuff. Like, do we have? Do I have any Blazon chests after the little bit of squids that I did? Doesn't look like I have anything at all, unless. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Open to receive a random level one Blazon. Check that out. Justice Shadow Blazon. Honesty Fire Blazon. All right. So let's take a look at what that looks like in our inventory. We've got blaze on here. Honesty, fire blaze. So you got basic attributes. You have in rally. What does that mean? That's a new term. In rally siege machine HP. So that's only when you're in a rally. How is that different than attacking? Why not just say attacking siege machine AP? Oh, I guess... I guess that means that it doesn't apply when you attack solo. So there's now a new distinction that didn't exist before. Only when you're offensively rallying. Okay, and then training HP. Oh, interesting. And there's set attributes. So when you have different set items, or when you have multiple of the same honesty or honesty fire, I don't know what the set is, then you're gonna be unlocking these. So it's almost like a new kind of equipment that you're gonna be equipping on generals? Hmm, interesting. Let's take a look at the other one. Ground attack on monsters. Oh, okay. All right. That seems not what I want. Okay, and then so you can upgrade, and this is what happens when you upgrade. Um, I don't want this one, ground attack on monster, so I'm gonna use it. Like, I wouldn't normally <laughs> do this right away, but uh, let's see what happens. Let's upgrade this guy by consuming the other one. So what's gonna happen is, because it's only level one, it would actually take me two of them. I get 100 experience points each to get to level two. So. These are valued at 100 experience points. I would need to, I guess I don't need to bother doing it because I'm not gonna get there. What does the lock do? I have no idea what this is doing. Lock. Lock and lock. The equipped or locked play zones cannot be inf used Oh, okay. So that's a good that's a good feature actually. So let's say this is a blazon that we want to be using and we're trying to upgrade. If you know it's something that you are going to use, like I'm not gonna use this, so I'm not gonna lock it, but the other one, this one here, in Rally Siege Machine HP, sure, why not? That's way better than ground attack on monsters. So I'm gonna lock that. Now, if I go here to try to upgrade, I can't use it. So I'm not gonna accidentally spend that. So that's a good thing to know for sure. Uh, what else can we get here? Blazons can be upgraded by consuming other blazons. Yeah, we get that and we infuse and the higher level offers higher attributes. So I'm not sure yet if that means that the numbers go up or, oh yeah, it says right here. So the numbers will probably be going up as we increase in level. But once we get to level 10, we'll get something new. I don't know what that is, It'll probably be similar, um, but yeah, I guess I guess we'll find out. Let's see what else. Higher level blazons offer more experience when they are used. So, like if you are trying to go here and you're using like a level five, you'll get I don't know. I'm guessing 500 or maybe more. Who knows? Um, blazons can get random additional attributes when they reach level 10 and level 15. Okay, that's good to know. Additional attributes of a blazon will be randomly increased within a certain value range each time you upgrade it. Hmm, that's interesting. So I'm wondering now, when I upgrade this, when I upgrade this to level two, it's going to increase. Let's say this would go from one to 1 1.2%, but the sounds of it from this description is that it's gonna be a, a variable increase like it can increase somewhere from like 0.1 to 0.3 so you can get any one of those rolls which puts a luck factor into there so you might end up going up an extra percentage I don't know 
but that's what it sounds right right it, that's randomly increased within a certain value range each time you upgrade it or is that just for the additional attributes these ones and these ones are static i don't know i guess these are things in uh, future videos that we'll we'll discuss and we'll try to figure out but for now i've not seen this before we've not seen this before we're kind of building from scratch here all right, I'm gonna see what it looks like on a general now, because I'm guessing that things are changed. So the one that I have is Siege, right? I have a Siege Blazon. Where do I put it? They said you equip it on the general. Where? It doesn't function here. What? Am I reading this wrong? Specialty skills, cultivate, enhance. All right, there's there's something I'm not understanding about this. Let's go back to the blaze zones. Let's see. Man, sometimes the communication is really, really tough. I, I, I don't understand what they're saying. You can equip your troops with blaze zones. So not your generals, your troops. Blazons can provide various buffs to specific troop types. What is that? How do you equip troops? In the rally spot? No. Presets? No. Man, why do they just make things so confusing? How do you equip a troop? Archer camp? Ah, here we go. So it's like a duty general kind of thing. You have to put it on the building. Why didn't they say that? Why didn't they just say you can equip your blazons on the unit types building? Problem solved. And then I'm not searching and people are not searching and confused. So I have a siege blazon. Let's go to my workshop here, blazon. Wow, so you can get like a whole, this is cool, actually, I like, I like the idea of this, I'm really scared about the monetization of it, and the availability of it, but I like the idea of this, I think it's a neat idea, let's look, so I have the Honesty Fire Blaze on, and let's, how do I do it, click it, no, click it, equipment, what, why would I, Equipment. Shouldn't that be equip? Equipment makes me think I'm going to go to the equipment screen or something. I think that's a typo. They meant to put equip. So we're going to equip it, Ebony. We're going to equip the blazon and put it in that slot. Oh, you got it right down here. Equip two blazons, not equipment two blazons. So you can get like a whole set. It's kind of like... Uh, same as like uh, your monarch gear or your general gear, you know, it's just another form of equipment that you can have and this one will affect your troop types. So this one is geared towards my, uh, uh, my siege, but eventually you'll be working on getting as good ones as possible for all your troop types. I just don't have a whole lot right now because apparently I've only done like a boss or two and gotten a chest, but what is confirm? I'm kind of worried here. I, I mean, I know what upgrade does, but confirm does what? If this does something like irreversible, <laughs> like it, it doesn't tell me what confirm does. There's no nothing in the news, nothing in the, the mail. So I guess we'll find out and hopefully it's not a big mistake. I hope I'm not like locking it in somehow. Confirm. What happened? What is going on? Like, communicate. What, what does this do? No available blaze on for switching. So if this is switching, here's an idea. Change that to say switch. Like, right? Switch, remove. Switch, upgrade. 
<laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, and look at this. Actually, this is pretty cool too. Look at this. You can have different like presets, different combinations that you can just like, okay, let's say you have uh, an attacking setup for blazons and it's all like plus attack stuff um, with HP maybe, I don't know. And you have that set up and oh no, I'm getting attacked. I, I, I'm, I need, I'm getting siege attacked or whatever. I'm gonna switch my defensive formation. I mean, it's a whole lot of stuff. Like who has time to go in there and oh, uh, ooh, ooh, here, number two. Like nobody has that time. But if you have some four planning, like you're expecting to get rallied, then maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> but still, it's an interesting thing. Now, I'm going to go and equipment this back on the slot. There, it is now equipmented. And I don't really have anything else to equipment. Oh, I got, I have this one. The wonderful ground attack to monsters. Let's equipment that on my building. <coughs> God. All right. Anything else? Yeah, we got two generals to worry about and some civilization gear. Okay, let's take a look. Civilization equipment. So we're Augustus, all that. Yeah, great stuff. Okay. I wonder if this will ever end where, man. Anyway, let's move on. Let's look at, let's look at the cake stuff because there are people that still spend in this game and they might be interested in knowing what we think about that. Um, all right, King's Party. What do we have here? Oh, a nice little decoration at cake level two. Let's go to cake four. We've got two pieces of Augustus. So they, you get the crown and the bracers. And the big spender one down here. Academy officers staff scroll. We'll go check that out in a second too. And you get Sulla and Armor and Scepter at cake level OMG. All right, let's go and take a look at equipment in the forge. Where's my forge? Here it is. And it was the Academy Officer's Scepter, I believe. Let's take a look. So a Scepter would be in this direction, like here. Okay, hospital, academy officers. What do you get? Research speed, 5%. Yeah, that's pretty expected. I mean, that's the base. I really wish it would show us the starred values, but research speed is oh, is good, obviously. I mean, it's useful. Um, and that should also affect your military academy as well, so not bad. Increases gold production speed in subordinate city, not quite as useful. But the, I mean, some of those military academies, like the researches, are just insanity. Like, they're, they're as much as buildings used to be. Like mine, mine really suck, but, I mean, 50 days for uh, level 9, I mean, that's not, that's not terrible. But I remember doing some in a different tree where it was like, here, like 146. Like it adds up. There's so many of these researches and it really adds up like a couple hundred days here, 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 here. And it really adds up quickly. Okay. Uh, now we can look at the generals. We've got Sulla. And Sulla's special skill is military dictatorship. That already sounds good. Ooh, yeah. Ranged troop attack by 15% and ranged troops defense and HP by 10%. Oh, it's an archer camp officer. So they're replacing some of the old archer camp stuff. This looks like more of a PvP oriented one. It doesn't have the training speed like the other one. It's just uh, stronger buffs. So that's what they're doing. They, they set us up with these ones. Like over here, I've got uh, my unfinished, what's his name? 
what's the dude's name? Um, John one, John the first. And John the first gives us, uh, here, this, this is how I can do it. I can go out and then he'll be the first selection. All right, so what he does is 5% attack, defense, and HP. But he also gives training speed 20%. So if you're going to have both, still keep your John the first so that you can swap him when it's like training day and you're going to do lots of training because he's better in that capacity. But overall, without a question, the other guy, the new guy, Sulla, is far, super, far superior in terms of uh, PvP stats. I mean, 15% and 10%, 10%. I mean, that's a big, big deal. And this is not offensive. This is both offensive and defensive, so huge. And then if you star him in City Troop Defense, 15% in HP, not just Archer, like all troops. That's awesome. That, that's worth getting. Like, that is worth getting. That is, that is really good. Like, I'm not going to spend and get it, but if you have it, that's fantastic. Now, Wallenstein. Wallenstein. His special skill is Bohemian Pioneer. Increases ranged troops attack by 25% when leading the army to attack. So it's an offensive one. Increases rally capacity by 10%. Interesting when launching an alliance war. So he is kind of like... Um, oh man, I'm forgetting all these names. Uh, oh, God. You know, the rally capacity one for... I don't know. Maybe I need another coffee this morning. The rally capacity one for um, archers is a lot like that, except uh, what's the difference here? Like stronger. So that was 25% and 10%. Okay, wrong one here. And she is in, let's, let's make a comparison. I don't think Europe, but let's take a look. Where are we? So we got Wallenstein here. Wallenstein. 25% and 10%. So that's European. And... Tomiris. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't find Tomiris earlier. Okay, so 35% and 5%. All right, so the comparison is... Tommy has 10% higher attack individually, but the rally capacity of Wallenstein increases an additional 5%. So the value here is in allowing more troops in your alliance to join the rally, which is going to be a lot more effective than 10%. Now, that's not factoring in all the extra stuff like, like in here and all the all the stuff in here you know Tommy is still gonna be great but Wallenstein like that's that's really the way that this game goes like you you've got a general like Tomiris which who does her job fine perfectly fine I mean she could be a lot stronger individually but she works very well and then let's take that concept and make it slightly better so that people will spend money to buy a new general and then spend more money to improve that general to get it, uh, you know, increase the specialty and the ascension and all that stuff you did on Tomiris is wasted. Like, that, that's really the way that this game works. Um, but if you are starting out and you don't have Tomiris and you're going to be a rally setter and stuff, then this is a fantastic choice. Um, it just sucks for the people that have invested so much into other other generals. And I really feel like, I mean, this is an opinion, of course. I really feel like one of the ways to really help players not feel like their money is being completely wasted because of all this general swapping and like, like, oh, I just worked so hard on improving this general. And then the next week, there's a new one to replace it that's slightly better. And now I feel like I have to, like, the, the, the way to do that 
to fix that problem and fix that sentiment so people feel like they still want to continue and they're not like getting sucked into this whirling whirlpool of or I should ba- basically say toilet where they throw their money into the toilet and flush it why not have it so that you can take a general and kind of like convert it like okay I've got Tomiris and she's the same thing as Wallenstein or Wallenstein really so let's take my Tomiris all the levels all the experience and the specialty that I've invested and pay a hundred thousand gems even I mean that's a lot but pay a hundred thousand gems to convert my Tommy, uh, my Tommy into Wallenstein so all her experience all that stuff gets converted and then yeah I've paid a little bit but all that stuff that I've done isn't wasted I'm spending gems a significant amount of gems to get that and I still have to purchase the other general but at least all that stuff that I did on a past general isn't wasted and I don't feel like my money has been flushed down the toilet I think that's a great improvement but you know how it is. All right, so that's Blazons. That's the new stuff. That's the new features, the new generals. Um, hopefully that is a decent look at that. Like, I really have no idea what's going on so far in this event. I haven't, I mean, it's been out for what, an hour, maybe? I mean, and I've been talking for most of that hour. So, oh, maybe, hey, let me get some Blazons. Meyer Squid. Oh, oh no, look at all the stuff I'm missing because I'm talking to you guys. Oh man, oh man, I don't care about those. At least I got into the Ymir. All right, um, back to the endless boss grinding, and I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.